Our show is set at Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital in the universe of Grey's Anatomy. The story will take place among the regular doctors and nurses who work at the hospital. Dr. Miranda Bailey has just been promoted to Chief of Surgery. She will now be managing her peers. Our story will show the challenges of becoming a new manager. The goal is to relate to an audience that can relate to not only the manager side of the story, but also to anyone that has been in the situation of having a new manager and how they handle the changes of new management. Some of the challenges faced relate to human resource management, planning, evaluation, and implementation. These are tasks and challenges that managers of all fields and industries face on a regular basis. Dr. Miranda Bailey is the new manager of Grace Sloan Memorial, who is hardworking but has trouble with her management skills. She is a strong, independent character, so asking Owen for help is new to her, but she wants to be a good manager, so she learns to lean on him for advice. She is also the chief surgeon. Dr. Owen Hunt is the former manager who helps Bailey run the hospital in a more efficient and productive manner. Owen is a former soldier and can handle high-pressure situations, can react quickly when needed, and is very good at coming up with a well-thought-out plan. These are skills that he can teach Miranda when handling various situations. Dr. Derek Shepard is the husband of Meredith Gray and the best friend of Mark Sloan. He is a neurosurgeon attending at the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital who feels like rules are not meant to be followed all the time. Dr. Meredith Gray is the wife of Dr. Shepard. She is also an attending at the hospital. She is quite stubborn and seems to do what she wants when she wants. Because her mother, also Dr. Gray, was a skillful and well-known doctor, Meredith thinks she can do as she pleases. Dr. Mark Sloan, also known as McSteamy, for obvious reasons, is a plastic surgeon attending at the hospital. He is also best friends with Dr. Shepard. Episode 1 Episode opens in the interior of the hospital. We see Meredith and Miranda talking at the nurse's station. They are discussing Miranda's ideas for the hospital now that she is the manager. Miranda has some ideas that are different than the previous manager. This scene will show that Miranda is unsure about a few things moving forward, including managing schedules. Miranda wants to try to schedule everyone equal hours. Episode 2 in this episode, Meredith reacts based on her conversation with Miranda during the first episode. She isn't happy with Miranda's plan for equal hours, which could be for selfish reasons because Meredith is used to getting more hours. Meredith expresses her concern about Miranda's idea for scheduling to Owen since he was the manager prior to Miranda. He has experience working on them from before and everyone is used to his way of scheduling. Meredith asks Owen to help guide Miranda. In episode 3, Owen comes to Miranda thinking he knows what to do for the conflict, attempting to undermine her new authority. Miranda is defensive and does not want to hear out Owen. Owen feels his way of scheduling was working fine and doesn't want to hear Miranda's reasoning or what her big plan is for wanting to make the change. This causes discord between not only them, but the lack of agreeable leadership is causing tension within the whole team. In episode 4, a few days have passed. The hospital becomes more chaotic as changes start to take place. Bailey starts to hear whispers around the hall that are about her and notices that everyone is disappointed. She finally decides to call Owen into her office to figure out a plan to make all the employees happy. Owen suggests that she use three strategies of strategic management, which are formulation, implementation, and evaluating to achieve the firm's objectives. Bailey then set up a meeting with all of the employees in order to figure out everyone's availability so that the employees can receive their desired amount of hours. This new strategy made everyone satisfied with Bailey's management skills. In episode 5, Bailey realizes that there are more problems than the employees not receiving enough hours. She realizes that the interns weren't completing their daily goals and they were not being professional throughout the hospital. Owen explains to her that she needs to hire new interns and that retraining the interns is not necessary since it's too time consuming. She then decides to have a meeting with the doctors in order to ask them what kind of intern they might be looking for. In episode 6, the attendees are now in charge of training the interns that were interviewed and hired. Sloan seems to be getting along well with his new intern. Meredith is having a harder time stepping into this role. She does not want to give her new intern the opportunity to perform surgical procedures on her patients. She is afraid of, making, of them making a mistake. The intern goes to Dr. Bailey to complain about the situation. Bailey is faced with the task of how to handle the situation with Meredith. She must weigh the outcome of the consequences of disciplining Meredith or decide to give her a chance to improve her behavior first. Bailey performed an evaluation of Meredith and then they sat down to go over the evaluation. 
They come up with a plan to help Meredith have better training skills. Episode 7. After Bailey evaluated Meredith, she told her what she needed to work on in order to be successful and continue to work at the hospital. Bailey also gave her a warning that she needed to learn how to respect her new rules or else she would be fired. Meredith then apologized and realized that she needed to be more respectful towards Bailey's new rules. Once Meredith began being more respectful toward Bailey and her new rules, everyone noticed a change in Meredith's behavior in a positive way. She realized that by being cooperative, she was creating a better work environment for her coworkers. How we have become successful as a group. Goal one, allow everyone the chance to be heard and include at least one idea from every member of the group. Goal two, our goal as a group is to understand this material and be able to explain it in a way that those who haven't taken this class can understand and benefit as well. We started a group text chat on the, the first week our groups were assigned and we have been able to communicate with everyone at least once weekly via the chat. We have found that creating shared documents and presentations using Google Docs allows everyone to work on each project when we are each available. Since we have very different schedules, using the shared documents has turned out to be very successful. We discuss ideas and plans via our group text so we will each know what the end goal is so we can contribute at whatever stage that the project is at when we have the time to contribute. We will continue to use this process to complete our project. The work we still have left to complete is to complete the scripts and video for the remaining episodes. We have shared a document for the scripts that we have been working on so that we have a great start already. We have also used the design challenges to start creating episodes. They just need to be cleaned up and prepared for the final presentation. Here's an example of one of our design challenges. I've been working on trying to improve our scheduling process and I see we have a need for more interns. We've had quite a few first years not able to handle the demands of being a surgeon, so we need to bring in three new interns. Due to having our departments differentiated, it's important that our interns go to the right place. I've scheduled some interviews, but I wanted some feedback from all of you on what type of interns you think will be successful in this program and what the hospital needs. I have two interns that seem very promising for neuro. I would really like to focus my teaching on them, so I would not recommend a candidate wanting to specialize in neuro. I could always use someone in plastics, someone who is able to be compassionate and comforting to patients, no matter what they come into the hospital looking like or wanting change. And this current group wants nothing to do with me for rounds, but then they are suddenly interested when I have something exciting or new. I don't believe we have any current interns that are good fit for peds. Arizona said they don't know how to connect with the children. I would like to look for someone who does a better job connecting with kids, and even better if they have childcare experience even as a babysitter. Okay, great, that's a good start. I'd like each of you to give me a list of specific names that are promising so I can go ahead and interview them. I want people who are determined, wanting to learn, and that are capable and flexible. The first intern interview is already here? Yes, 45 minutes early. Well, we know they all have the grades. We just need to see if they're... they're functional human beings. <laughs> Terms always use first names. I try to connect with them over an anecdote or a shared experience. I think patient connection is just as important as surgical dexterity. Well, nobody ever bled out from rudeness. Right. Right, right, not as important. After I finished undergrad, I applied for the primary care rotation in Nepal. Air Force with distinction, two tours in Iraq, and cybersecurity. Thank you for that. And you left to go into medicine. One day I caught some shrapnel and I woke up on a cot in a cash tent. I watched three combat surgeons save 37 soldiers in six hours. I counted. I kept score. I thought, that's not a bad way to spend your time. Also, I watched a lot of MASH when I was a kid, and I had a real thing for Hawkeye Pierce. Me too! I read all about the fire, and the resident who said it, incredible. So smart, so brave, just fierce, you know? She's officially my new hero. What do you guys think about each intern? Were there any that you felt would be a good fit for what we were looking for? After working with Intern 1 for the last couple of days, I'm happy to say that I finally found someone who is very compassionate and comforting towards my patients. Not only does she have the traits that I'm looking for, but she also pays close attention to each detail in the operating room. Intern 2 is very good at connecting with children and has years of experience with them. However, since she is new, it seems that she is having difficulties connecting with the parents. All in all, she fits perfectly in the peds department. Those two interns seem perfect for our hospital. 
It is important to have these positive characteristics and it will allow the place to run a lot more smoothly. I'll be sure to speak to them as soon as possible.